island nation, the Maldives, is creating an innovative floating city that will help mitigate the effects of climate change and stay on top of rising sea levels. The Maldives floating city is designed by Netherlands based Dutch Docklands and will feature thousands of waterfront residents and services floating along a flexible functional grid across a 200 hectare lagoon. Such a development is particularly vital for countries such as Maldives, an archipelago of 25 low-lying coral atolls in the Indian Ocean that is also the lowest lying nation in the world. More than 80% of the country's land area lies at less than 1 meter above sea level which means rising sea levels and coastal erosion pose a threat to its very existence. Developed with the Maldives government, the first of its kind island city will be based in a warm water lagoon just 10 minutes by boat from the capital Nale and its international airport. Dutch Docklands worked with urban planning and architecture firm Water Studio which is developing floating social housing in the Netherlands to create a water-based urban grid built to evolve with the changing needs of the country. Maldives thrives on tourism and the same coral reefs that attract holiday makers also provide the inspiration for much of the development. The hexagon shaped floating segments are in part modeled on the distinctive geometry of local coral. These are connected to a ring of barrier islands which act as breakers below the water, thereby lessening the impact of lagoon waves and stabilizing structures on the surface. The Maldives floating city does not require any land reclamation, therefore has a minimal impact on the coral reefs, says Mohammed Nasid, former president of the Maldives, Speaker of Parliament and Climate Vulnerable Forum Ambassador for Ambition. What's more, joint new ribs will be grown to act as water breakers. Our adaptation to climate change must not destroy nature, but walk with it. As the Maldives floating city proposes. In the Maldives, we cannot stop the waves, but we can rise with them. The island seafaring past also influenced the design of the buildings, which will all be low rise and face the sea. A network of bridges, canals, and docks will provide access across the various segments and connect shops, homes, and services across the lagoon. Construction is due to start in 2022 and the development will be completed in phase over the next five years with the hospital and school eventually being built. Renewable energy will power the city through a smart grid and homes will be priced from $250,000 in a bid to attract a wide range of buyers including local fishermen who have called the area home for centuries. In March, the UN's World Meteorological Organization warned that oceans were under threat like never before and emphasized the increasing risk of rising sea levels. 
Around 40% of the global population live within 100 kilometers of the coast. WMO Secretary General Professor Petri Dallas said there was an urgent need to protect communities from coastal hazards such as waves, storms, surge, and sea level rise via multi hazard warning system and forecasting. Atoll nations are even more at risk than other island based countries, with the Maldives one of just a handful alongside Kiribati, Tuvalu, and the Marshall Islands in the Pacific that have built societies on the coral and sand rims of sunken volcanoes, so-called king tides, which can wash over parts of habitable land, and the storms that drive them are getting higher and more intense due to climate change. A floating city needs law and order as well as a defense system. Once the floating city is a part of existing law and order framework, this will enable inhabitants to live in a safe and protected environment. A floating city must be a dynamic, which means its structure must have ability to adjust, appended and updated as a building for the change is the only way to respond to unknown challenges of the future. A city with a growth more existing of smaller structure will provide this flexibility. A floating city is more than just the sum of the built structures. Community-based developments are based on culture and common livability goals and will be the backbone of a healthy and feasible city. We cannot stop the waves, but we can rise with them. New ribs will be grown to act as water breakers. Our adaptation to climate change must not destroy nature, but walk with it. City will save energy by pumping cold water from the depth of 700 meters to cool down buildings. It's the first example of a nation trying to find new solution to cope with sea level rises. The government's goal is to turn them from future climate refugees into climate innovators. Thanks for watching this video till the end and do subscribe to the channel to get the latest update on construction videos around the world.